Hey everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Yashas from Treat by Alter Doctors and we are here today to explain to you why you must get vaccinated against COVID-19. So the first question, are vaccines protective against COVID-19 infections and what is the scientific evidence for this? The answer to these questions come from large scientific trials done across the world for different vaccines which looked at whether vaccines can prevent symptomatic COVID-19 disease. So for Covishield, we have data from the phase 3 studies conducted by the AstraZeneca Oxford group in the United Kingdom and Brazil. Now the study primarily reported a vaccine efficacy of 70%. But hang on a minute, what exactly is vaccine efficacy? Vaccine efficacy is calculated by a simple formula which looks at by how much percentage there is reduction of occurrence of disease in a vaccinated group of people, also known as the attack rate, as compared to the occurrence of disease in an unvaccinated group. Now let us look at the data from trials on which Covishield was approved. Now both the vaccinated and unvaccinated group had 5,800 odd participants. Now while 101 developed the infection in the unvaccinated group, only 30 developed it amongst those who received the vaccine. Now if we put these numbers in this formula, we get an approximate vaccine efficacy of 70%. Now we need to understand that this efficacy varied between subgroups depending on the dosage or the dosing interval with a longer interval between two doses leading to more efficacy. However, we also have recent data from the trials done in USA which reported an efficacy of 76% even with a four-week interval dosing. So what about Covaxin? Now we don't have the full paper or the final analysis of the phase 3 trial which involved 25,800 subjects. The first interim analysis showed us that there was a vaccine efficacy of 81%. The good news being that the updated second interim analysis released recently continued to show a vaccine efficacy of 78%. So why are we hearing that people still test positive for COVID-19 even after being vaccinated? Now the first truth that we have to understand is that vaccines do not cause COVID-19 disease. Now this is because most of the vaccines are either mRNA or viral vector vaccines which contain only genetic message to encode for a protein component of the virus to stimulate the immune system. Or they could contain inactivated or killed virus with immune boosting adjuvants and hence are not capable of replication or infection. The second point we have to understand is that in most of the trials, the vaccine efficacy was calculated beginning two weeks after the second dose. Furthermore, as we can see in the phase two studies of Covaxin, at a time point of four weeks after dose one, the percentage of people who developed antibodies was between 60 to 70%. But two weeks after the second dose, 90% had zero converted and had developed antibodies. Hence, to hear of cases being positive before the second dose should not be a surprise as this pattern was seen in quite a few trials too where the vaccine efficacy after only the first dose is lower than the final efficacy after two doses. And finally, we need to realize that even after two weeks of the second dose, a small percentage of patients may still develop COVID-19 disease, which is why it is very essential to still continue to wear masks, follow hand hygiene and social distancing protocols. But hey, if I'm supposed to still continue doing all this even after vaccination, why should I take the vaccine? Now the answer to that is the fact that both Covishield and the Covaxin trials have now reported 100% protection against severe disease. That's right, not 70, not 80, but 100% protection. So if the incidence of severe disease comes down, then there would be decreased hospitalizations and that is what is required in a pandemic of this proportion to ease the burden on the healthcare system. We also now have upcoming evidence that vaccination reduces even asymptomatic transmission as the viral load tends to be lower in those who are vaccinated and this might contribute to shortening the pandemic. So the last question is, should I take Covishield or Covaxin? Now it is important to understand that there is no trial that has compared Covishield against Covaxin directly and hence it would not be appropriate to compare the efficacy numbers. Now while there are differences in the way that both the vaccines work, the antibodies generated and the dosing interval, it is important to realize that both are safe with minimal side effects and both offer 100% protection against severe disease. So please take whichever vaccine is available. To my fellow countrymen, it is going to be only vaccination that will save the nation. So fulfill your responsibility to yourself, your near and dear ones, and to your fellow citizens. Get vaccinated, 
continue to wear masks, follow social distancing, and let us fight together to end this pandemic. This is Dr. Nitin Yashas, along with design and animation in charge, Dr. Ranjit Abraham, on behalf of Treat by Older Doctors, wishing you the best of health. Stay safe. Let us have hope, for this too will pass. Jai Hind.